Hey, this is H.D. Ingalls again. I've gotten off my joke kick. So what I'm going to do on this one is it's humorous, nothing serious, about my family. This is the British French family, if you have guessed. Well, it started out. I was married in December of 1963. It was a long time ago. We only lived about four, maybe five blocks from my parents. And we didn't have a car. And we decided to go over to see my parents one evening. And we had to walk. I just told you, don't have a car. You should remember that. At any rate, I was married in December. This must have been January or February. Either way, it was bloody cold. I mean, it was cold. Ohio River Valley, cold. My wife was wearing boots. Not the kind you slip over your shoes, but fur lining and all that stuff. And this was, I guess, before it was really fashionable that women were wearing all these fancy boots. These were just attractive boots for snow or whatever. So we got to the house and mama let us in. We were cold. <laughs> and we had a, you may not even know what I'm talking about if you're young. In the living room, small living, there was a mantle and below the mantle in the corner was a uh, gas grate. That's what we called them. Probably the biggest wall now because there's an abyss, abyssus backing and there were gas jets and you could light them and bingo, it, it was warm, it's called fire. <laughs> At any rate, we walked in and we took our clothes off and I stood by the fire for a minute, so did Carolyn. And she looked at my mother and said, Mrs. Ingalls, would you mind if I took my boots off? Now, before I continue this little story of wonder, my father had a tremendous sense of humor. He sat in a chair in the corner opposite the fireplace reading a newspaper. Now he had a trick, sort of hard to explain, but he'd hold the paper like this up in front. He was reading the paper, but daddy knew every word that was said in the living room. And if he wanted to interject something, he'd take his thumbs and flip the paper over. And then when he was through, flip the paper back up. Okay, I just had to explain that. It's easier now than later. So after Mama says, honey, take off anything you want, paper goes down. And Daddy says, and get on a white horse and ride down Third Avenue. Boop, paper back up. <laughs> well, Mama wasn't mad, but I had to laugh. It was pretty funny. <laughs> That's it. But Daddy did that on prime occasions. Okay, let me tell you one more, mainly my father involved. And by the way, I didn't mention it at the beginning, but I have these stories in that little book I wrote, the 40s and the 50s, about my family. At any rate, now, this happened, oh, I would say late spring or early summer of the same year. Daddy always liked to sit on the front porch and listen to a uh, Cincinnati Reds ball game, and I sit out with him sometimes. We were over there one afternoon to my parents, and uh, Daddy was sitting. It was set up on the front porch. There was a, a chair, other side of the steps, a chair, and then back one of these little gliders that you glide. That's why they call it a glider, glide back and forth. I usually sit on one of the chairs, but Carolyn came out with me. She sat on the glider. I had been married a half a year, so I sat with her. And uh, Daddy had a way of putting people, not on the spot, that's not the right thing to say, make them stay or do something foolish. <laughs> he had a tremendous sense of humor. So we're sitting there, and Daddy put a turn his chair a little bit, and he pointed his finger at me. And he said, son, I have the funniest joke I ever heard. I said, tell me, Dad. And he said, wait a minute, I can't tell you now. Carolyn's here. I can't tell this joke in front of a young lady. So he went back and we chatted a little bit. And he turned around and he said, son, this is the damnedest, funniest joke I've ever heard. Carolyn said, oh, well, tell the joke, Mr. Ingalls. It won't bother me. And he said, honey, I just can't. I can't tell this joke in front of you. <clears throat> so then he turns back and says, this is so funny, I've got to tell it. He said, Carolyn, would you... Uh, Put your hands over your ears so you can't hear. Sure, Mr. Ingalls. Okay. So there's my sister, or my sister, help, my wife, whoever she was. Boop. Daddy turns around and starts to tell a joke. And he says, you know, son, I've only known Carolyn for a few months. Can she read lips? 
of the clear blue sky. I can't read lips. <laughs> I thought Daddy was going to fall over, and he's laughing so damn hard. He had that type of sense of humor. He's never malicious, but he'd get someone to either say or do something absolutely foolish. And here's my wife. I can't read lips. <laughs> Carolyn really never lived that one down. A few years later, she'd say, well, I would have really covered my ears if he started talking. I sure, sure, sure. <laughs> At any rate, Daddy's sense of humor was, he, he, it was magnificent, actually. But he was never malicious. He never got anyone to do anything absolutely embarrassing or anything personal that would actually hurt someone. He just liked to pull a good one once in a while. Well, that's the end of that one. And uh, I think what I'm going to do, and you'll probably thank me for it, is I'm going to shut up and say thank you.